In this video, we will cover motor development in the first year, and we're going to focus on typical motor skills that are seen in the newborn at three months, six months, nine months, and 12 months. So this is an image of a newborn, and you can see that after being packaged in the womb for nine months, that the newborn kind of tends to stay in that fetal position, and that's what we call physiological flexion. So you can see here that the baby's legs and arms are kind of flexed and bent and tucked up under the body, and that's a position <clears throat> that they tend to stay in most of the time. You can see here that the baby is not lifting his head. Um, he doesn't really have the head and neck strength and control to lift his head when he's lying on his tummy yet. He may have enough strength to kind of drag his nose and face from side to side on the bed or the surface where he's lying, but he may not yet. Um, at this age, movements are really um, primarily reflexive. So when you stand the baby, you may see that he bears some weight and maybe looks like he's even taking some steps. And at this age in the newborn, the, that standing and stepping is really a reflexive standing and stepping. And you'll note when you hold him in that supported standing position that he really has little to no head control. The head's bobbing around. He may be able to maintain his head upright for a few seconds but he drops quickly. And that's similar in sitting. When the baby's held in a supported sitting position, he's unable to lift the head. Now by three months, after the baby has um, spent some time moving against gravity, and hopefully the parents and caregivers have been doing lots of tummy time to help develop some extensor strength in the head, neck, and trunk, um, the baby is now able to hold his head up. And so you can see here, this baby is on his tummy. He's able to prop up on his elbow, shift his weight back onto his pelvis so that he can lift his head up nice and upright and, and see the world. When we lay the baby at three months old on his back, he's able to hold his head in a midline position, bring his hands together, um, sometimes even put his hands in his mouth, or he may even look at his hands and sort of visually attend to his hands. In a supporting, supported sitting position, you'll see that the baby does have head control, and that's similar in a supported standing position. However, the baby is not able to maintain sitting or standing alone for any length of time at this age, and is not attempting to really take any steps in a supported standing position, and may not even be bearing any weight in a supported standing position. At six months, the baby is learning to sit, sit up. So this baby sits up. And so he's gained um, trunk control. So he's able to hold up now his head, upper trunk, and lower trunk in a sitting position. Now he's pretty unsteady in this position. He's probably not going to be able to sit and play with a toy um, or shift his weight. And he may only sit for a few seconds before he falls over. So this baby isn't, isn't a functional sitter yet, but he's certainly starting to sit upright um, on his own. If you put this, the six-month-old in prone on his tummy, he's going to push up on his arms, extend his arms, and lift his chest up off the supportive surface. And he may even bring his knees up under him and get into a hands and knees position. On his back, the baby has uh, developed a lot of nice abdominal strength, so now he can curl his trunk and he'll grab his feet and sometimes even put his feet in his mouth. And he's usually rolling from his tummy to his back and his back to his tummy, and sometimes is even using rolling as a way to explore the environment. At this age, the baby's legs are strong enough to support his body and he can stand with his hands held, but he's probably not attempting to take any steps yet. By nine months, most babies have achieved some sort of independent mobility, whether it be by rolling, creeping, or crawling. But on average, a nine-month-old is creeping independently. And by creeping, we mean up on hands and knees with that reciprocal hands and knees creeping pattern. So the baby now can actively explore his world. He's gained control of his lower trunk, pelvis, and hips, and so he's beginning to move in and out of a sitting position and pulls himself to standing at a, table, a stable surface such as the couch or the living room coffee table. Um, at this age, most babies can take some steps with their hand held. Many babies have begun to cruise by stepping from side to side while holding a st stable surface, so sort of walking around the coffee table in the living room. And some more precocious infants may even begin to let go and stand independently for a few seconds or even take a 
few early unsteady steps by the age of 9 to 10 months. And in this image, we see the baby at 12 months old or on his first birthday. And by his first birthday, the baby has gained control of the knees, lower legs, and ankles. So although creeping or crawling may still be his primary means of mobility, he is beginning to stand independently and has taken his very first steps. Um, some more adventurous babies may be crawling up and down stairs, climbing up onto low school stools. They may attempt to squat and pick up a toy in standing without falling down. Um, but again, there's a wide range of development. So there are some babies are at their first birthday are still crawling while others have mastered walking and are beginning to run and climb. So please keep in mind that while this video presented some average motor milestones in a very brief format that every child develops at his or her own rate, and we know that development can be influenced by both um, the individual differences in the child or external factors such as the child's environment or culture. It is much, much more important to compare a child to himself when assessing motor development rather than comparing him to what is, quote, normal. So as long as a baby is developing, making gross motor gains, he's probably gaining skills at a rate that's just right for him.